big news this week. Um, starting off with a couple things, you know, smaller things like there's Final Fantasy XIII 2 DLC, I think there's a Pokemon anime trailer out there, something like that. No, not an an a Pokemon game anime, tra anime trailer, to be more specific. I think there's a really cool Yotsuba video out, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, I'll get to the important stuff last. Um, got a couple lists here that they that uh, Crunchyroll posted, top tens. You know, not a, not 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 a whole lot happened. Just there's some big stuff that happened. Um, so let's go with top ten things Japanese people hate about RPGs. One, the characters are all good-looking guys and beautiful girls. Why is that? I don't know why that's bad. Two, movie dialogue movie. I I. I Still don't see what's bad. Three, opening chests without permission. I, I don't see the bad things about these. You have a bun four, you have a bunch of characters, but only a few of them can participate in battle. Okay, I can understand that. Five, the actual game contents are subordinated and uh, subordinated to the theme song, voice actresses, etc. What? Six. About 1,200 people line up for pre-orders. Yes, that is a terrible thing. I, I agree with that. Seven. Hidden things you won't understand unless you read the walkthrough. I understand hidden things. Eight. Protagonist always does the opposite of what I think. That's sometimes true. Nine. You just, you're just running errands, then and then before you know it, you have somehow saved the world. I disagree. Unless it's a bad JRPG. Ten. They're called JRPGs. Lol. Ah, ten anime scenes. Japanese fans hope their mother won't walk in on them while they're watching. I I only got clicked on this because I laughed. Kiss at the end of Pokemon. Guardians of Altamir. I'm mad. The end credits of Rosen Maiden. I guess I understand that. Kaiji Misato's bedroom. And let's just say another Evangelion scene was mentioned a couple times. All right. Scenes of quitting high school and becoming a Hikikomori. Which is, you know, kind of, kind of like, uh, almost being like a hermit. I, 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 he kind of withdraws from society, I guess, is the good way to put it. Ah, a certain shocking death in Madoka Magica. I, I, <laughs> scenes in Rama, Ranma were there tits. Wow, that's it. The Aquarian commercial. <laughs> the seventh episode of Strike Witches. I love Strike Witches. That scene in Kill Me Baby where Sonya is groping at Yasuna's crotch. Yeah, I can see that one. And the New Year's Heart Catch Pre-Cure Special. I, 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 that one's not that good, but... Whatever. <coughs> and... Is there big news? Oh yeah, here's some big news. PENTA! PENTA! Oh! PENTA! Okay, that, 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 that was... That was that was fun. But uh, here's the big news. Uh, if you haven't heard, this has uh, already been confirmed by Adult Swim. It's uh, legitimate. Toonami's coming back on May 26th. That is correct. Toonami will be back and they will be doing what seems to be the Saturday Night Anime stuff. Holy crap. We all asked for it. They gave it to us. Holy crap. Oh my god. It's here. Yay. I'm hoping that you guys have heard of this so already and have already had your explosions, but if not, you're probably exploding right now. But And also, this was just released the day I'm uploading this, the 16th of May. So, and and, on, and not only that, it was, up, it was put out, I think, from when I'm making this video, it's 725 East here, I think it was put out like six hours ago, so I mean, it's not, it's, it's like ra really freaking recent. So, yeah, Toonami, Toonami, Tom, Tanami. Tune Tom 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 Tune Pentakill. 